My name is Nicholas Badminton. I'm a futurist and researcher. I'm the CEO of Exponential Minds. I work with companies to work out how the world is changing with technological advances. About five years ago, I, I met someone at a conference I was organizing, a, a guy called Emil Grafstra. He runs a company called DangerousThings.com, and he was selling these implants that you could put into your hands to control anything that was RFID, NFC enabled, like doors and you know ignition switches on cars or password readers. I wanted him to come and speak at my conference, and he said, only if I could uh, implant someone on stage. And I, I thought, okay, from a liability perspective, it's probably sensible that no one else does it on stage but me. So I invited Amo up, he implanted me on stage, and uh, it's been certainly very interesting since that point. So the chip in my hand is completely passive. It doesn't need energy to do anything. The, the, you know, the power comes from the device that, that's writing it. It's about two, the size of two grains of rice, and what you can do is you can encode um, some numbers, a short URL, a very small amount of data to it using an NFC enabled device, could be like a smartphone, and then you can control other devices that can then read that. So it works exactly the same as a credit card reader. It's not a GPS device. You can't find where I am in the world. That's the question I get a, a lot. Thousands of people are getting it implanted because it does have a use and a utility. There are a lot of people that are very scared about this as well. I've actually had all sorts of uh, threats via email. People literally think that you've got the mark of the devil. Um, so that's interesting from a cultural, anthropological perspective. So are there any issues with me having uh, th this chip put in my hand? Well, they, they don't affect MRIs, they don't get picked up in the airport scanners. No one really knows that it's there at all. So uh, just the issue occasionally having uh, a little bit of ner nerve twitching in my finger, but I can't wholly say that that's down to exactly the implant being where, it, where it's being. Typically, people don't take it out, so uh, a layer of cartilage builds around it, so you have to cut the skin, break out the cartilage, get that out of your hand. It's pretty messy. Uh, I haven't aimed to do that because it seems like too much trouble for what it's worth versus like keeping it there and being able to use it in the future. Thank you.